Superman is in Metropolis for two Daily Planet staffers catching lunch a few blocks away from work. It's the story of the century. Harry, what's wrong? I think, uh, I think I just saw a man fly by. Oh my gosh, it's him! You're sure? That's the Superman who saved the crashing space plane? It must be. He's changed his outfit, but when was the last time you saw a flying man in Metropolis? Then get after him, Lois. Stay with him no matter what happens. Get me that story. As good as got, Chief. Tell the rewrite boys to stay close to their phones. Lois Lane is on the job. But amid the traffic, a sinister limousine pulls up near Lois. There she is, boss, just like you predicted. Of course. Stop the car and call her over, Guthrie. Miss Lane! Yo, Miss Lane! Mr. L wants to see you. Guthrie, tell your boss I'm busy. You can tell him yourself, Miss Lane. He's right here. Look, spare me the confrontation, would you? I'm in a major hurry, and Lex can always catch up to me later. But Miss Lane, he's leaving for South America this evening. He won't be back for at least a year. Then he'll have to catch me much later. See you. Blast! There's no sign of him. It's half a second delay, and he disappeared. Well, I'm not beaten that easily. Hi, Sid. Hi, it's Lois. Is Chuck around? I have a slightly huge favor to ask. Nuts. It was useless to come up here on the Daily Planet's chopper to look for him. I still can't find him. Not surprising, Lois. This flying man of yours ain't like a plane. He could be down in them canyons between the buildings. You'll never spot him from here. Maybe. Hit the police band. There might be something cooking that'll lure my friend out of hiding. Four armed gunmen holding at least three hostages. Clancy's liquor store on East 50th Street. May I hear this? You in the store. This is Captain Reagan of the Special Weapons and Tactics Squad. I'm giving you just one minute to come out, and you can start releasing the hostages now. In your ear, Peg! You come one step closer and we'll start shooting! Look out, he'll do it! Rats, if we're going after them, there are bound to be civilian casualties. Maybe not. Let me help. Huh? What circus did you escape from? No circus, Captain. Will you ask your men to pull back, please? I don't want to risk them getting hit by stray bullets. Stray? Who do you think? Hey, come back here! Just do as I ask, Captain. Believe me, it will make your life much easier. Just hold it right there, pretty boy. One more step and you're dog food. Oh, come on now. What are you afraid of? You don't think I'm hiding any weapons in this outfit, do you? No. Hey, I said hold it. I said hold it. Hold it. If you insist. He held the gun barrel and it broke off. Did you see? I saw it, but I don't believe it. How's he do that? Don't waste time worrying about tricks, you idiots! Waste him! He ain't human! He just stood there and the bullets just bounced off him! His eyes! What's happening to his eyes? They're getting red, heating up! Hey! My, my gun! It's getting... HOT! Too hot to handle? And now, a couple of my softest taps, and you creep should be in dreamland for about an hour. If you'll excuse me, I don't think my presence is required here any longer. There's the place, Lois. Just like they said on the radio. Great! Get down close to one of those rooftops so I can jump out of this beast. Jump? Are you nuts? Just do it, Chuck. I didn't win my Pulitzer Prize by sitting in front of a word processor all day. Catch you later, pal. And thanks. Captain Reagan, am I in time? Lois Lane! Then my guess was right. That was the mystery Superman you did that piece on last week. Then he's here? He was. Took off just a few seconds ago. The hostages are safe. Later, back at the Daily Planet. Hi, Miss Lane. Golly, what's wrong? You look miserable. Then why shouldn't I, Jimmy? I spent the better part of a week chasing our mystery man all over Metropolis. And all I've got to show for it is sore feet. 
just to add insult to injury, look at this. The other papers have picked up on my Superman reference. I've managed to name the guy without even knowing who he is. Jeepers, that's rough, Miss Lane. Too bad you can't find a way to be on the spot before he gets there. Yeah, well, until I become clairvoyant, the only way to do that is to... Hmm. Well, things seem to have quieted down a bit. In the past 48 hours, there have been no obvious crimes of any kind in Metropolis. Would it be immodest of me to take that as a sign that the underworld has gotten the message? As long as I'm on the job, there'll be no room for... Hold it! My super hearings found a damsel in distress. And not just any damsel. Lois Lane! Her car's gone off the pier! There's her car. No time to pull her out. And I don't have to. Especially when I can lift the whole car and fly her to safety. There you go. Are you all right, Miss Lane? A bit waterlogged, but otherwise fine. Thanks to you. Don't mention it. But it'd probably be wise if you got into some dry clothes as soon as you can. Here, let me fly you home. You know where I live? I know where everyone lives. There, if you'll forgive my dashing off, there are other matters I need to attend to. Take care now. Yeah, uh, bye. Uh, hey, uh, no, no, wait. Uh, come back here. Thanks for waiting while I clean myself up a bit. Uh, I thought we might have a little snack. Some white wine and brie? Well, I hope you don't think me too ungrateful, Miss Lane, but I don't drink, generally speaking. And I never really acquired a taste for brie. You're a loss. It's one of life's great pleasures. Now, where were we? Ah, from what I picked up, you can fly. You're very, very fast. You can see through anything. And you have some kind of heat ray zap in your eyes, which are blue. Yes, but as I've already said, Miss Lane, I don't think knowing all of this will be of much use to you. You're too modest. You happen to be the story of the century, Mr... Uh, just what do people call you, by the way? I think the name you gave me is quite appropriate, Miss Lane. Superman? All right, Superman it is. Now, is there any way I can get you to call me Lois? Of course. I'd be delighted, Lois. Good. Now, what about some of the other details? Like, where you're from? Are you a Metropolis boy, or are you from out of town? I guess I'd have to say out of town, Lois. To be honest, I don't really know exactly where I'm from. I guess it doesn't really matter. What matters is that I think and feel as an American. You could do a lot worse. I was wondering, you're leaving? Yes, there's nothing more I can tell you, Lois. And as I said, what I have told you isn't going to be much use. So I'll say goodbye for now. Oh, uh, just out of curiosity, do you always drive around with an aqualung under the front seat of your car? Up, up, and away! Wow, he knew! All the time he knew! She's quite a woman, Lois Lane. And quite a reporter, too. Imagine deliberately driving off a pier just to lure me in for an interview. Good thing I wasn't on the other side of the world at the time. I didn't notice a rescue crew standing by, and an aqualung as small as the one she had in her car might have run out by the time I heard her calls for help. I suppose I should get around to testing the limits of my superpowers one of these days. But not just now. It's time to keep my appointment with Perry White. The appointment I made two days ago is Clark Kent. Miss Lane, did you hear? The chief just hired the... Later, Jimmy. I've got a big fish to fry. Stop the presses, Perry. I've got the story on Superman. What? Lois, didn't you pick up the message I left on your answering machine? Message? No, I, I didn't check my messages. I was too busy writing the story. Hey, is it me or do I detect a lack of excitement over this super scoop? I'm sorry, Lois. I know how hard you've worked for this, but uh, I can't get all wound up over a story we already have. Already have? Relax, Lois. You were beaten to it, that's all. Happens to the best of reporters. Used to happen to me all the time. 
And you might as well take a good look at the fellow who got the Superman story ahead of you. He's joined the Planet staff as of today. Lois Lane, meet Clark Kent. Be sure not to miss book three and the other exciting titles in the continuing saga of The Man of Steel. Will Superman and Batman set aside their differences and pool their resources to battle Gotham City's most terrifying arch-criminal? The answer to this question and more in Book 3, One Night in Gotham City.